Anyway, as most everyone knows, I think, uh, there's a resurgent in the design of supersonic capable commercial aircraft. There's at least three companies developing configurations, uh, Arion, Boom, and Spike. Um, simulation, the, the configurations are similar to Concorde. Uh, and we believe strongly that the water tunnel can be a, a, a very important design tool in the process of developing those configurations. Um, but we're not, the water tunnel can't be used to help those airplanes go Mach 2. The water tunnel is constrained to low airspeed, high angle of attack uh, flow regimes. But it's those flow regimes which have been the most difficult uh, to solve on previous attempts at continuing the, the supersonic commercial configuration research. Almost every test that's ever been done at NASA of advanced uh, supersonic capable commercial configurations has, has been stopped by uh, an inability to solve the low airspeed uh, flying qualities problems. Things like uncommanded wing rock caused by four body vortex flows, um, premature vortex burst. Uh, but the, the, the real beauty of the water tunnel is it, its ability to allow you to test dozens, if not hundreds of configurations uh, with different variables and, and sort through those variables to, to help you home in on a more optimum configuration that then goes on to uh, expensive wind tunnels, uh, including supersonic uh, wind tunnels. So that's the real value of the water tunnel, is helping solve this previously very difficult to solve low airspeed flying qualities uh, flight regime, problems in that flight regime. 